been impressed with these two today, Julian. Sort of a similar day for them both. Kept themselves out of trouble and got themselves right up in the mix. And who knows? Could be a podium shout for either of them come the end of this rally. It, it could be a podium shout. Katsuta had a half spin. Gus Greensmith. Oh, what did he have? Gus has had a, an issue somewhere he as well. A, he, had a, he had a flat, uh, half flat tyre. That bit, was it, a soft yeah, tyre. Yeah, but also, what you've got to remember is uh, Gus Greensmith this morning was. Second quickest on the, on yeah. the first stage of, of both loops. Uh, he was he was in the top two or three on both passes. So having a real good run as Gus Greensmith. But this is his favourite rally. And he was targeting a, a podium here this weekend. His first podium in the WRC. And as you say, he's not a long way away from it at the minute. Yeah, we're talking about them fighting for podium. Katsuta, just 6.3 seconds behind Danny Sordo, the, the returning Spaniard. Uh, who's uh, slowly inched his way up the leaderboard as well. We'll get to him shortly. But yeah, great day for both these drivers. As you said, it almost like Molly said it, the cars are looking all a bit tired. Yeah. When you look at Gus's, uh, the, the front split is half hanging off. There's bits kind of sticking out here, there and everywhere. And they, they have had a really demanding hard day. But, uh, you know, that's rally. You can see the car like pitching up under acceleration, the front end lifting under acceleration, and then when they brake, it drops down heavily on the front end. This is, as you said, we're looking at a car that's designed and, and set up to race through the forests. Look at all the bits missing off that yeah. of the car. You can actually see the safety cell structure through there. They've got a roll cage in there at the bottom. I've never seen that. Yeah. And and so yeah, so now we put them onto like a, 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 a mixture, a surface stage, and they look a bit clunky at times in places, but with this kind of really kind of like wallowing left and right, up and down. But the know. front splitter damage oh, yeah. there as well, Gus. I mean, don't forget these cars haven't been back to service since no, no. Uh, since Thursday. So no, it's going to be a busy evening ahead for the, uh, the oh, teams. Oh, big understeer for Gus. Tire tires off the rim. Oh yeah, front right, front right, sir. Massive understeer coming I mean, out of that it's corner. Just about hanging on to the uh, wheel rim here, isn't it? But it's yeah. not oh, going to last much. Just watch longer. out, Gus. You don't want to put it in the wall now. Anyway, it's Tanak uh, with the benchmark 238.6. Uh, Gus, you wouldn't have thought it's going to uh, trouble that. Let's see if Tacker can get. He's got to be just careful oh, here. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. just doesn't put it in. He's just brushed, a, brushed against the wall there. So. Now, is he down to his last spare tire as well, though? This is oh, the only man. other issue. He's still got to he's get He's got back. two spares. I'd have he's to go. Gone, but he's gone through one. Yeah, I think he still should have one spare. I can't keep up. There's been so much going on. But let's hope that uh, Gus will be rotten luck now to, you know, finish the last stage. He's just got to get back here to service. But remember, they, they do have to have... Uh, inflated tyres, even in the road section, yeah. just a short distance back up here to... That is the second tyre this afternoon he's had off the rim, so he should have, because he had two spares. Yeah, okay. So he should have should, four. 